Happy Monday, Fit Family. So for this week, I'm just calling it gratitude while making my first fruit tart. Thank you all for joining me. Please like and subscribe. Let me know what videos you want to see. And I'm so happy that you're here with me today. So I had an amazing revelation last weekend where three of my best friends pretty much sent me these amazing gifts. And I'm going to show you a little bit about them and made me realize how grateful I am to have people in my life like them and my family who are always very supportive even though sometimes they don't understand my journey they are always there and lending a helping hand so the first thing that you're seeing is that I'm walking towards to pick up some food I'm always a foodie at heart I love food I love staying fit so for me it's always a healthy balance especially when I was younger and I was overweight I always wanted to make sure that I can enjoy food. So what you're seeing is me pretty much indulging and eating something I normally wouldn't eat, which is a fried chicken sandwich with waffle fries and some gravy. This place by my apartment is actually known for it. So it was funny when I went there and I saw that they actually had a separate menu inside with pictures. Didn't want to take some photos of it because I thought the people thought I would be weird. So by my house, they have this place that I showed you. It's these amazing fried chicken so I got it with gravy and of course my favorite fries about to divulge and eat this and this is me like I said just enjoying eating it and I didn't think about oh my god how many calories am I gonna have to burn this off whatever you decide to do in life make sure that you're doing it for the right reasons I didn't was not eating this sandwich so that I could burn the calories off later Sometimes you have great friends who remind you of who you are and this is pretty much one of the little gifts I got and I love it. One of my best friends sent me these amazing gifts to make a fruit tart. She sent me groceries, she sent me these molds and I want to just show you the process of me doing this. She knows me very well and she knows that I'm creative and I love to bake but I'm also skeptical to try new things especially when I'm not sure of myself. The last few months I've just realized that I've had to like just go in and try new things no matter what. So I'm showing you a little bit of how to make this fruit, fruit tart. If you ever buy a fruit tart in a bakery, please know how many hours it takes to make this fruit tart. I was shocked by how long it was taking me but at the end, you'll see that the product was definitely worth it. So what I'm telling you right now is just showing me making through this process of getting the eggs, the flour, everything together from the crust to the custard and in the end, the final assembly. And what I appreciate with a lot of my friends is that they know me a little bit better than I know myself. And I am grateful for them every single day. I value the love that they give me and I value any time I have with them. And this is something that we might lose sight as we go on through our days, as life has becomes difficult some days, and some days it becomes very much unbearable. And I speak for myself when I'm saying that there are days when I wake up and I just don't know why I'm struggling with certain things. And I have to remind myself to stay grounded, to take care of myself, to listen to myself, ask for love when I need it from my close friends who I trust very much, and know that I can always do more for myself. And this is a lesson that I learned, right, like I said, very recently, and it took me much longer than I should have. And that's why I'm sharing this with you while you watch me make this dessert, is that life is very short, and we never know how long we're gonna be here. So if you have people in your life who treat you well, who understand you, you can laugh with, you can talk with, you can cry with, those people are meant to be held on so strongly whenever you need them. Life is really difficult and sometimes we might think that you might never get a break. But when I was making this tart, I was realizing that I am blessed more than I ever thought I can be. And I decided just to be in the moment and make this tart for the day, show you a little bit of my journey. And it reminds me of the love that I have of three amazing women who no matter what will always show up for me. In this life, you need to hold on to those people. I can struggle and say that I wish I had a life partner. I can struggle and say that I wish I made more money, I had a better job. All those things are very different for all of us. 
and I am grateful for the little things in life. I can wake up every morning, I can feed myself, I live in my own place, I support myself financially. Those are great victories that I never want to not be aware of and underestimate. I'm living my life on my own terms and that is something I've always wanted from a young age and that is what I continue to strive for. Yes, you could always want more, but please don't underestimate what you have. There are many people in this world who cannot make a fruit tart the way I'm making it because they don't have the food, they don't have the supplies, they don't have their own home, they don't have electricity. And that's what I was trying to really embrace is that I am more than blessed and this is what I was showing you is just a little piece of what I go through and what I hold on to. Just finish up my first tart. Looks actually really good. I'm gonna taste it a little bit later. I put some apricot glaze and bam. My other two friends got me some amazing gifts. One of them gave me, as you'll see, sleeping gear because I have issues sleeping and it was very thoughtful and it was something that I really much appreciate. Then my other best friend gave me things to write and with inspirational notes. And this is something that these three women know me very well. And th these gifts meant so much more to me than anything else that could be expensive or shiny. All this stuff meant so much more to me. And I was able to embrace it and just be myself and really be appreciative of what I have in this world. This is me on a day off, baking, writing, trying to sleep. <laughs> and just enjoying being me and being myself in that moment. And that is something that we might not appreciate all the time, that we have that freedom. So definitely appreciate it and love yourself for it. I wanna thank you all for watching this video. Again, always be kind to yourself, be kind to others. And the point of this video and the main goal of this video is to be grateful for what you have and of who you are and the special people you have in your life. So this video, I know I don't usually do it, is just a reminder to be grateful for everything that you are. The world would not be a place without you. Everybody can bring something positive to this world. Thank you so much. I'll see you real soon.